Hello everyone, this is Sean1113 with your Sean Steels. College football picks week five and NFL week picks four. And um a reminder of do some housekeeping a little bit. I'm a little bit bear with me because I'm been a little I've had some um sinus infect a little bit of a sinus infection problem, so bear with me with my voice. I'm a little congested at the moment. I'm going through that right now as of this um recording. So bear with me, and I appreciate your patience in that. <clears throat> and I do want to thank your subscribers, all my subscribers and future subscribers, for listening to the Sean 1113 Network as well for various things other than football, sports, what have you. Also, Sean 1113 Podcast as well on Spotify and many other podcasts wherever you listen to. It's a little bit, a little bit different there with sports in general. Now with that, um, please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this video, and comment as well, man as well, and thank you so much for listen, for watching this video. And with that, <coughs> a, <coughs> excuse me, a wild week three, the parody is definitely evident after the first three weeks in the NFL season for sure. And I, I have no trouble saying that, saying that at all. So we'll see what happens as time goes on, as everything will flatten itself out, of course, sort itself out, of course. Of course, that team could run. Like I said, still relatively early in the NFL season. With that, here we are with the rankings first. According to me, after week three, the Chiefs are number one. The Bills are number two. The Vikings are in due number three. Detroit is number four. Philadelphia, number five. Houston Texans six, Green Bay Packers seven. Uh, let me. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, let me put this down. Uh, okay, I made a mistake. Baltimore Ravens at number eight with their win over Dallas. Steelers. Well, let me let me switch this off. This on. Steelers eight. Baltimore nine. I have one team twice. Ugh. You see my you see my um you see my flow um you see you see you see as you can see let me breathe for a minute you see my mistakes and my and my and all the things organically as you can see. Now let me start again. Kansas City number one, Buffalo number two, Minnesota number three, Detroit number four, Philadelphia number five, Houston number six, Green Bay seven, Pittsburgh Steelers eight, Baltimore Ravens ninth, and the Seattle Seahawks tenth. And you can switch those nine and ten teams at the at that point. So, but um, right now, if if you looked at record, but if that. That's my Sean Steele's top 10. Let's go for the college football picks. Week 5 with 7 big games. Here we go with the picks. Liberty and Appalachian State. I'm going to pick Appalachian State. Illinois and TCU. Um, I'm actually going to pick till Illinois here. Oh, Penn State. What, what a... Uh, all right. I'm making mistake after mistake after mistake, and I gotta laugh at myself because, yeah, I wasn't expecting. I didn't meant, mean to do that. Illinois and Penn State. Now the right game goes. Illinois and Penn State. I'm picking Penn State. Louisville and Notre Dame. I'm picking Louisville. Kentucky and Ole Miss. Gave Georgia all fits. I'm gonna kick Ole Miss though. Oklahoma State and Kansas State. I'm going to pick Oklahoma State. I don't know about Kansas State after they got blown out by BYU last week. And neither does Northern Illinois and North Carolina State. I'm going to pick NIU in that one. And then the big game, Georgia and Alabama. I kept back and forth on that that one. I'm going to pick Georgia in a close one. Would not be a bit surprised if um, Alabama won that game. So that's week seven. Week, yeah. That's week five of the seven pack of the of the college football season. Now let's go to week four of the 
NFL season 2024-25. Hopefully I got this right this time. Um, Dallas and New York. Who? Dallas probably needs it more. But if you saw Malik Neighbors, that's that's got to scare some corner. That guy scores some scare some secondary teams with that kind of performance. So we'll see what happens. Um, now to the Sunday games, New Orleans and Atlanta. I'm going to actually pick Atlanta in that game. I think the game is in London. But I'm not so sure about that. The Los Angeles Rams, Chicago Bears. I'm gonna pick the Rams besides their injuries. Minnesota and Green Bay, I'm picking Minnesota. Philadelphia and Tampa Bay, I'm picking Philadelphia. In that one, Denver and the New York Jets, I'm picking the Jets. Pittsburgh and Indianapolis, I'm going to take Pittsburgh this time and see what happens. Bengals and Carolina, in fact, this is not a gimme here now, especially with Randy Dalton making that team a actual NFL team instead of a high school team by um you know Bryce Young. Maybe he'll shoot maybe he'll learn from Danny Dalton this time. The next time he becomes a next time he actually wants to play NFL quarterback. Yeah I know, I know, I know. I'm picking the Bengals one more time. Hope hopefully this time they won't come from they won't play from behind. Jacksonville and Houston. I'm picking Houston. I think Jacksonville is down. Washington and Arizona. I've been taking a look at this, and I'm going to pick Washington here. New England and San Francisco, despite their interest, San Francisco will win that game. Cleveland and the, and the Las Vegas Raiders. I'm picking Las Vegas. Vegas here. One more time. Kansas City and the LA Chargers. I'm picking Kansas City. And then sh this should be the Sunday night game, to be honest with you. Buffalo and Baltimore. I'm picking Baltimore. The Sunday night game. Ooh. I'm a Dolphin fan, but I. Ugh. Ugh. Something I don't think NBC had this in mind. But I'm hoping for the best for the Dolphins. But I'm picking Tennessee. And then a better game on Monday night at least. Seattle and Detroit. I'm picking Detroit in that one. Let me look. All right. That is all the picking. But those are my picks for the NFL um, this year. I mean, what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now, pretty soon I'm going to have um, the postseason MLB picks um, for the wild card, division rounds, championship, league championship, and then the World Series eventually um, sometime next week. So look for that for the post for the uh, Major League Baseball postseason as well. I'm going to do it the same for like like I do now. So I got to set things up for that. Um, other than that. Then that, um, that is my Sean Steele's week four college picks, week five college picks, and week four NFL picks. And like I said, you love this video, please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, share this video. It'll be posted up on X and Facebook as well. And with that, thank you for listening to the Sean 1113 Network, and please stay encouraged no matter what.